Hey guys, welcome back to uh, uh Song Frog. Welcome back to Tales of Werewolves. I've just been chilling out in the uh, town of Wolfsvale, spending all my money on booze from here and a wolf fur vest from here. Though I didn't really notice that there was this blacksmith slash hardware store, so I probably would have bought either less booze or not this thing. And whatever, it doesn't matter. Point is, I can't afford the stuff this uh, man with this glorious fucking moustache and beard. He, lo he looks like a like a, a strong man from like an old cartoon. I, mean, I understand, like, he's, he's physique, you know, he's a blacksmith, he's gonna have a huge upper body. Regardless, we're going back to my house. The, the, like, the spectacular, spectacular hair. Alright, not broken. Good, good. The bait. You know what? Yes, I would like to watch a tutorial on how to use the bait. Bait. Bait will delay the enemies who eat it. This icon shows how much time is left before the bait is finished. Ah, okay. The more enemies there are eating it, the faster it will finish. Makes sense. Alright. I don't have a lot of money, unfortunately. Um, because I spent it all. But, on the upside... There is no upside. Uh, alright. Let's just slap a couple of wolf traps here. Uh, hanging net. Let's put a hanging net over here. That sounds good. Maybe. And a bonfire here. Oh yeah, and some bait. Put the bait underneath the hanging net. Put some bait over here. I think we're done. I don't have a good feeling about this. Uh, how do I equip this? There, I equipped it. All right, Jack, Jack, you Irish motherfucker. Oh, skills. There's a glowing point icon. Nothing's happening. All right. Um. Uh, Bloodthirst. He helps through some of my points. It sounds pretty good. Mastership. Ma uh, I'll take the reload, honestly. You know what? Confirm. Whatever it is I just purchased, confirm it. Let's get this show on the road. Featuring loading screens, me running around. Okay. Oh yeah, because I I I blessed uh, bullets. Uh. Forgetting how to control. Is he reloading? All right. Survive the night. Okay. Sup, bro? Whoa, what the fuck? Run. The house is under attack. Jesus! Fuck! Okay, we're gonna swap bullets real quick. Didn't like that too much. Yeah. I forget how to uh how to roll. There we go. Yay! Booze, save me! Uh, no, 
not good. Not good. Rawr! My chickens! You piece of shit! Probably should have made actual use of the hanging net, huh? Oh, that was bad. Wait, come here. Drink the beer. Instantly restore my uh my stamina. That's how it works, right? Fuck you! Alright. Reload the gun. So far I've made basically no use of my traps. Wow, that was um really easy. I set up a bonfire for Nelly. Great. I kinda let down. Though my captain of my bond got fucking axe. Success! Now to watch another excellently voice acted cutscene. For obscure reasons, he always refused to divulge. Phidias Saint Crapaud's father left in a land of, uh, of Arcadia to settle in Wolfsdale region, becoming the operator of a sawmill for the W. Hood Co. Since then, Phidias has taken over for his father, but the infernal beasts have made life difficult for the Arcadian. They've been specifically targeting his mill now for some time now. Do you have a hot Irish chicken there as well that, you know, the devil's trying to sell to a priest? Or something? The beast did a lot of damage last night, so I'd gone down to the hardware store in the village to get stuff to fix my mill. Okay. I was coming back, and since oh, I didn't have guy. any more tobacco in my pouch, I said to myself, it'd be a good idea to warm myself up a little at Jackie's. Say, Phidias, could there be something here that's attracting the beast? Except for my cabin, my barn, there's just your mill. But the attacks keep getting worse night after night. You're not hiding anything from us, are you, friend? Me? Hiding something? As I live and breathe. In fact, if there's something I would have liked, it would have been for you to help me defend my mill last night. The lumberjacks from W. Hood Company came to take away the downed tree that was blocking the main road. So you can easily get to the mill now. And then if you help me, I'll help you back putting out your traps. With the three of us, it'll go faster. Sure. Sounds like a good Foster deal to me. You can count on us tonight. We'll protect your mill. But what about... I'm just gonna leave my fucking sister, like, alone? She's gonna get fucking murdered. Well, no, she's gonna get kidnapped by whales and raped by a priest. Chopping lumber. Chopping lumber. With access to the mill, you can now cut lumber for the W. Hood Company. Ah, of course. Just click on the button to chop wood. Why would I do that? Each time you chop wood, you receive money for your effort in exchange but it costs me time. for action points. Ah, action points. Right. Action points that are lost this way are represented by the orange part of the gauge. You're a gauge. All right, guys, I'm actually going to call it there. Oh, wait, no, let's watch the spike trap tutorial first. The spike, the spike trap. The spike trap automatically triggers as soon as three enemies are standing on it. Three. This icon three. represents the amount of enemies standing on your trap. How could I possibly have set that up? That doesn't make any sense. Now you must defend the mill. The mill itself gives you additional action points, but if the mill is destroyed, you fail the night. Alright guys, yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sangfra, Tales of Werewolves. The game where apparently I can set up these amazing traps. Uh, and I will catch you guys all later. Uh, yes, I will quit game. Resume for watch tutorials? No. Restart at dawn. Also, no. Quit game. I'll catch you guys later.